Oh, is that something behind the trophy there? Guys, it's Chrissy here from Outback Gold Fever. I've got some very exciting news for you guys. Uh, I'm just coming back from Perth because I went shopping. I spent a lot of money, but that's okay because I found a bit of gold as well. So I've got heaps of footage to prepare. And I just need the time to edit all this together. There's gonna be a lot of gold. I'll sell the gold and then I spend the money already. So I've been very well. I'm very, very happy. It was very exciting driving around in Perth. People everywhere, cars everywhere, of course. And I'm just glad to head back out into the bush. It's very scenic here in the outskirts of Perth. It almost looks like Germany. I stopped here because I thought this is what home looks like. Exactly like that. I grew up in the north of Germany. I thought I'll just have a stop here, fill you in on what has happened. And of course, check everything around the car. I just needed to stretch my legs a bit. I'm going back now. I might even give you a little glimpse of what I'm towing behind the troopy. If you don't want to miss out on what's going to happen, there's going to be a lot of gold. So you better make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. And I'll just give you a little preview. Oh, what is that? Shh. I've got 200 kilometers to go to my destination, which is good because I've been driving for two days now back from Perth. I'd rather split up the drive instead of driving such a long distance in one day, especially since I'm not very fast with towing the trailer and the traffic as well. There's roadworks, there are oversized vehicles, which are eight and a half meters wide. They take up both lanes of the road. Move over now. Yeah, it's about uh, two and a half, three k's behind me. That's seven and a half. Okay, you there, mate. I'd rather sit behind the oversized vehicles because I'm not very fast when it comes to overtaking and when there is restricted room on the lanes. The drive just takes a bit longer. But that's okay because I plan two days in for each drive. So I spent four days in the car and four days in Perth. And I'm just looking forward to head back out bush, to be honest. The car's been going really good, towing the trailer as well. It struggles a bit going up the hills. I'll just have to be prepared and uh, start shifting down in advance before I even hit the base of the hill and get a bit of a run up. I get really nervous with the roadworks because Sometimes I just don't understand what they say on the two-way. It's terrible. When they talk to me, sometimes they refer to me as the 4B or the RV. Sometimes I'm the RV with the trailer. Sometimes I'm the 4B with the horse float. Sometimes I'm the caravan. It's very confusing and I'd rather sit back and, you know, take it steady 80 kilometers an hour instead of rushing and overtaking and then making mistakes. So that's why I planned two days for the drive-in and I'm glad I did. I'm just looking forward to arrive somewhere and get set up, get the bike as well, of course, just get organized and move into the trailer properly. I left the majority of my stuff at my mate's place in a container, so I'm just so looking forward to get it all out and working everything out, I suppose. I'm just so lucky that I filmed with the seller explaining everything because there is a lot that go goes with it. And he did say it in advance and I was just lucky. I had my phone there and I'm like, oh, do you mind if I just record the, the explanation of the electrics there? He said, yeah, yeah, nah, it's fine. And I already went uh, through the footage twice because I just sat uh, in the back, in the trailer, looking at everything. And I'm like, okay, this is that, that's that. And uh, yeah, just to work everything out, I reviewed the footage and I'm so glad that I filmed it because there is a lot to remember. I can't wait to give you a tour through the caravan and uh, show you everything. It's Friday today. My plan is to head back to town, get my gear and tomorrow I'll uh, try and edit all this footage. So at least there is a video for Sunday morning as usual. And then the following week, of course, I'm gonna go back to work and then I'll try to 
get all this footage organized of the big hole, the big gold, finding it, selling it and how I ended up with this caravan behind me. So I'm looking forward to that. It'll be a bit of editing, but lucky I've got an editing room in the back now. The trailer really is a dream come true. And I'm honestly, I'm so proud of myself. All by myself, I organized it, I looked it up. I actively searched for something that's suitable for me and close where I can put the quad inside and also live inside. And I was looking for such a long time and I just couldn't find anything that was affordable for me so that was just so lucky and I contacted the seller and I had such a good vibe about the, the guy and how genuine everything seemed and I think he had the same impression about me because he said he was going to hold the trailer for me over the weekend because I was so worried he was going to sell it and I'm halfway uh, into Perth already or something like that so oh it just turned out to be perfect and I was so nervous about this whole thing and the troopy driving such a long distance but everything went so well and I am just honestly so proud just driving in town or in the city with a trailer and the car is big as it is if I was living in town I definitely get a tiny small car that can just fit in any parking gap but those parking lots in the shopping centers they are just so tiny I don't understand it like there's so many big cars, cars in the city and the parking lots are just a nightmare and then I was towing the caravan behind me and I'm like oh shit where do I go where do I park and where do I turn around and it was just nerve-wracking and I'm so glad that I'm out of the city on my way into the bush and there's heaps of room and I can arrange myself and, and arrange the caravan and the trailer and drive around as much as I want but yeah that's just not possible in the city and oh, people get so impatient and I understand it I used to live in the cities I used to be the same but I never had a car in the cities I always had a push bike and public transport but after I haven't been to any bigger city for two years my last visit to Perth was pretty much two years ago just before COVID broke out I'm just glad to go back out push again there's really not much traffic on the stretch so I'll try and get up to speed again try to do 100 kilometers an hour and then I should be there in about two hours I think hopefully bear with me guys I'm gonna get this footage edited I promise stay tuned make sure you're subscribed hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on those uh, upcoming videos I know you're gonna love it all right stay safe everybody take care out there I'll see you next week <laughs>